Right, so chapter three. Let's see what Matilda does to her dad to teach him a lesson. Says, the following morning, just before her father left for his beastly second-hand garage, Matilda slipped into the cloakroom and got hold of a hat he wore each day to work. She had to stand on her toes to reach as high as she could with a walking stick in order to hook the, coat, the hat off a peg. There she is, hooking it off on her tiptoes. The hat itself was one of those flat-topped pork pie jobs with a jay's feather stuck out of a hat band and Mr Wormwood was very proud of it. He thought it gave him a rakish daring look a bit handsome. Especially when he wore it at an angle with his loud checked jacket and green tie. What do you think? So Matilda, holding the hat in one hand and the thin tub of super glue in the other, proceeded to squeeze a line of glue very neatly around the rim. So the bit that goes around the head here, she put some glue all the way around on the inside of his hat. Then she very carefully hooked the hat back on the peg with the walking stick. She timed this operation very carefully, applying the glue just as her father was getting up from the breakfast table. Mr Wormwood didn't notice anything when he put the hat on, but when he arrived at the garage, he couldn't take it off. The super glue is very powerful stuff, so powerful it will take your skin off if you pull too hard. And Mr Wormwood didn't want to be scalped, so he had to keep his hat on the whole day long. Even when putting sawdust in the gearboxes and fiddling with the mileages of the car to his electric drill, in an effort to save face, he adopted a more casual attitude, hoping that his staff would think he actually meant to keep his hat on for the heck of it, like gangsters do in films. But when he got home that evening, he still couldn't take that hat off. Don't be silly, his wife said. Come here and I'll take it off for you. She gave the hat a really sharp yank. And Mr Wormwood yelled out, Ow! He screamed, Don't do it! Let go! You'll take half my skin off my forehead! Matilda was nestling in her usual chair and was watching this performance over the rim of a book with interest. What's the matter, Daddy? She said. Has your head suddenly become swollen or something? The father glared at his daughter with deep suspicion but said nothing. How could he? Mrs Wormwood said to him, It must be super glue. It can't be anything else. That'll teach you to go playing around with nasty stuff like that. I expect you were trying to stick another feather on your hat. I haven't touched the flaming stuff, Mr Wormwood shouted. He turned and he looked at Matilda again. who looked back at him with large, innocent eyes. Mrs Wormwood said to him, you should read the label on the tube before you start messing with dangerous products. Always follow instructions on the label. What in heaven's name are you talking about, stupid witch? Mrs. Mr Wormwood shouted and he clutched the brim of his hat to stop anyone else trying to pull it off again. Do you think I'm so stupid I glue this thing to my head on purpose? Matilda said, there's a boy down the road who got some super glue on his finger without knowing and then he put it up his nose. Mr Wormwood jumped up. What happened to him, he spluttered. The finger got stuck inside his nose, said Matilda, and he had to go around like that for a whole week. People get saying to him, stop picking your nose, and he couldn't do anything about it. He looked an awful fool. Serve him right, said Mrs Wormwood. He shouldn't have put his finger up there in the first place. It's a nasty habit. If all children had super glue on their fingers, then they'd all stop doing it. Matilda said, grown ups do it too, Mummy. I saw you doing it yesterday in the kitchen. That's quite enough from you, Mrs Wormwood said, turning a bit pink. Mr Wormwood had to keep his hat on all through supper whilst watching the TV. He looked ridiculous, but stayed very silent. When he went up to bed, he tried again to get the thing off. So did his wife, but it wouldn't budge. How am I going to have my shower? He demanded. You'll just have to do it without. You'll just have to do without it, won't you? Said his wife. And later on, when she watched her skinny little husband sulking around the bedroom in his purple striped pajamas, 
and his pork pie hat on his head. She thought how stupid he looked. Hardly the kind of man a wife dreams of, she told herself. There he is in his jammers. And there's his wife going, whoa. Oh. Doesn't he look a state in that hat with his jammers? Mr. Wormwood discovered that the worst thing about having a permanent hat on your head was having to sleep in it. It was impossible to lie comfortably on the pillow. Now do stop fussing around, said his wife, after he'd been tossing and turning for about an hour. I expect it'll be loose by the morning and then it'll slip off easily. But it wasn't loose by the morning. It still wouldn't slip off. So Mrs. Wormwood had to take a pair of scissors and cut the thing off his head bit by bit. Oh no. First the top and then the brim. Where the inner band had stuck to the hair all the way around the sides and back, she had to chop the hair right to the skin. So when he finished, he had a bold white ring around his head. So he had a ring, a bit like my headband, all the way around where his hat had been. But instead of just being a headband, it was there because that was his skin. Oh no. He looked a bit like some kind of monk. In the front, where the band had been stuck permanently to the bare skin, there remained a whole lot of small patches of brown leathery stuff that no amount of washing could get off. So he still had bits of fabric stuck to his head. At breakfast, Matilda said to him, You must try to get those bits off your forehead, Daddy. It looks like you've got those brown insects crawling all over you. People will think you've got head lice. Be quiet, her father snapped. Just keep your nasty mouth shut, will you? All in all, it was a most satisfactory exercise, but it was surely too much to hope for that it had taught her father a proper lesson and a permanent one. There, she, there he is. You can see the brown bit is still stuck to his head. She looks quite happy about it, doesn't she? Right, I wonder what's going to happen next. <laughs>